Every retail trader has used moving averages at some point. In general, they produce reliable entry signals in trending markets, but struggle in periods of consolidation. The Kaufman Adaptive Moving Average, or KAMA, improves upon conventional moving averages by automatically adapting to market noise. I will explain how the KAMA is calculated and how you can use it for trend following on the dollar franc. The KAMA was developed by Perry Kaufman in the 1970s. It varies its responsiveness in accordance with the market's noise level. Noise is the erratic price movement within a trend or consolidation period. Here is an example of a noisy market. There is plenty of price movement, but little net change in price. Due to its adaptive nature, the KAMA is more tedious to calculate. Let's go through each step of the calculation. The first step is to calculate the market's efficiency ratio, which is defined as the absolute net change in price divided by the absolute sum of the individual price changes over that period. I have created a separate video explaining how the efficiency ratio is calculated and how to use it as a breakout filter for trend following strategies. Check it out in the description. The efficiency ratio is a measure of a market's noise level and oscillates between 0 and 1. Smooth trending markets have high efficiency ratios, while noisy sideways markets have low ratios. The efficiency ratio's variation in accordance with the market noise is the reason for the KAMA's adaptive nature. To allow the KAMA to adapt quickly to changing markets, Kaufman recommended using a smaller look-back period for the ratio. A 10-period look-back is used by default. Next, we calculate the smoothing constant for each period as follows. These boundary values define the fastest and slowest speeds at which the KAMA will react to prices. By default, the fastest moving average period is set to 2, while the slowest moving average period is set to 30. For example, if you want the KAMA to be less sensitive to prices, set the fastest moving average period to be greater than 2. Noisy markets produce small smoothing constants, and the resulting KAMA becomes more unresponsive to prices. Smooth trending markets produce larger constants and the KAMA will follow prices closely. Finally, like an exponential moving average, we calculate the KAMA with this formula. Here's how the KAMA looks like when overlaid on a chart. The KAMA reacts slowly in noisy sideways markets. This increases the distance between prices and the KAMA and minimizes unwanted price penetrations caused by erratic movement. Conversely, the KAMA reacts quickly in low-noise trending markets. For such markets, the KAMA can afford to be positioned closer to prices because there are few false changes of direction. In a trend-following context, Kaufman recommended buying when a KAMA is rising and selling when a KAMA is falling. Obviously, these rules are extremely relaxed and will produce a large number of false signals even for the most trending of markets. Even in its least responsive state, the KAMA exhibits frequent direction changes. Nonetheless, let's use the above rules as a starting point and try to build a tradable strategy for the 30-minute dollar franc. As with all trend strategies, the challenge lies with identifying genuine, sustainable trends. Let's consider a trend to be sustainable when a KAMA has been rising or falling for 10 consecutive bars. Therefore, we will only buy when a KAMA has been rising for 10 consecutive bars and sell when a KAMA has been falling for 10 consecutive bars. I'll throw in a 100 pip stop loss and trailing stop for trade management. Let's quickly program this in Algo Wizard. I will use the default parameters for the efficiency ratio and smoothing constant. And the is rising condition lets me specify the number of consecutive rises required. Now let's run a preliminary backtest on the dollar franc. Not too bad for a first pass, but we have a long stagnation of 2,000 days. So let's do some fine tuning. One of the easiest ways to improve trend following performance is to add a pullback filter. Pullbacks are a naturally occurring feature of every trend and offers traders the opportunity to jump on board a trend at a discount. So why not make use of them? The Commodity Channel Index, or CCI, is one of my favorite indicators for pullback detection. I previously shared a dual CCI trend-following strategy, where a pair of CCIs was used for both trend and pullback detection. All you have to do is to vary the CCI's look-back period. 
For this case, since we want to find those pullbacks, let's use a 5 period CCI with the following conditions. I will buy when the 5 period CCI is below minus 100 and sell when the 5 period CCI is above plus 100. With this additional condition, there is a narrow window where entries can be triggered. In this chart here, the pullback brings the CCI below minus 100, but almost causes the karma to turn down as well. I added in the pullback condition and reran the backtest. That's quite an improvement in consistency, with the stagnation down to 900 days. With a 1.44 profit factor and return over drawdown of 5, I wouldn't mind trading this strategy as part of a diversified portfolio. The CCI pullback filter only caused a 9% drop in the number of trades. I was actually expecting the narrow entry window illustrated above to cut off more trades. So yes, it's yet another moving average, but the Kaufman Adaptive Moving Average deserves your consideration. Its calculation is more involved, but it can be applied in the same manner as conventional moving averages like the simple and exponential moving averages. Since markets are always evolving, using adaptive strategy elements like the Karma certainly makes a whole lot of sense. Have you found success using adaptive strategy elements? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you at the next one.